I'm here today to, to make sure people get a very good vision of what CYO has been uh, and can be uh, for the youth in greater Cleveland and really all over the nation. Uh, I had a very wonderful uh, youth. Uh, I played every CYO sport that came out I was involved in. And it, it developed for me to really, uh, as far as uh, being a coach, really I look back that experience as uh, being uh, the, the uh, platform for what I grew on. And when I was in eighth grade, just to share a story, I, we were in the city championship football game. And for some reason, my, uh, the coaches turned to me and said, for that game, uh, they were not going to signal in any defenses. They just asked me to, and trained me during the week to make the calls myself. And what was very nice uh, was the respect that they had for me, the, the trust that they had in me. Um, so we did that. We, we were fortunate enough to win the football game. And, and what I realized is, sure, I played the game and I carried the ball and threw the ball and did all those sort of things, but there's another side of it. And that's the, the, the coaching of it, the preparation, the game planning. So I, I really did have my first experience doing that. And uh, went on to college, came back to, all my education has been Catholic. Uh, so I came back to St. Ignatius where I graduated and started coaching right away. And I'm sitting here at the age of 70 and I'm still coaching. So it, it really had it, its foundation in a CYO experience for me. And I, and I look at how important the statement of when we say the, the future full of hope and connected with CYO. Uh, just basically, young kids uh, are a part of the church. And what is the church? The church is a community. And we try our best to bring those people back to live masses uh, with, after the COVID uh, issues. And so that's going on right now, and hopefully people are, are having the, the courage to kind of come back and the faith that, that science has provided us with the proper preparation to do so. But where does a young kid learn uh, the idea of community? Uh, CYO sports, CYO football, you're on a team. And for, for young people to have that experience where God gave each of them talent what do you do with your talent? Is it just about you? Is it just about the person? Or can you use those talents to serve the team? Can you use those talents to help other people? Well, that, that is an important lesson. And certainly, as an English teacher and a Catholic English teacher, certainly I can have young people read some very wonderful literature uh, that deals with service, that deals with uh, personal sacrifice. And, and, and that's a vicarious way of doing it. But for these young people who, who love sports, to find that vehicle, to certainly have that kind of excitement, but also to learn that you work with other people and your efforts can, can help the others to succeed is, is really monumental, monumental in their uh, growth. And that's part of what CYO can do. Um, believe me, there's a lot of very, very good coaches out there uh, involved in the public school system and various uh, other systems. But the beauty of, of the CYO program is well-prepared coaches, coaches that really understand that part of it is God's gifts to them. And notice that CYO has a prayer at the beginning of the game and a prayer after the game. And, and so much of it is realizing that their efforts on the field is actually a very beautiful prayer. Uh, the Lord give you those talents, I think a great way of saying thank you for those talents is, is to learn to do the best you possibly can. That doesn't mean winning every time. Uh, that, 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 there's a lot of ideas that go into that and situations going on. But to be able to walk off the field and say, I, I did take God's gifts of talent that I have and I gave my best effort, not just to glorify myself, that, that's selfishness, but to help the others. Uh, you know, late in a football game when you're tired and, and you're hoping that it comes down to the last few minutes and, and something's got to happen, 
Young people should look to the left and look to the right and not let their teammates down. And that is an important lesson when you talk about life. And that's what CYO and team sports can do.